Welcome to the homework for lesson 25. This is module 4 of grade 2. Get your name on here first. And uh, this is solving problems using vertical form for subtraction. Uh, your place value chart and place value disks, unbundling tens or hundreds when necessary, and uh, show your work for each problem. And uh, if you're a parent watching this, this is the moment you've been waiting for. It's regular borrowing subtraction. But we call it the vertical form or vertical method, also called the standard algorithm. Now maybe your teacher wants you to draw chips and do vertical subtraction for each problem. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show the vertical method. 65 minus 38. We start with our mini window on top. Leave yourself some room up here because you're going to need it for bundling and unbundling. I mean for, for unbundling. So leave yourself at least a little bit of room up there. 65 and third, just like with addition, we want our ones under our other ones and our tens under our other tens. Subtraction. And now the most common mistake made is to forget that this is your menu end. Because we have a 5 and an 8 here, we can't subtract 8 minus 5. That's called subtracting up. It doesn't work. What you have to do when you don't have enough ones is keep in mind the subtraction symbol is down here for a reason. You're subtracting 3 tens and you're subtracting 8 ones. You can't subtract 5 ones because you're not subtracting 5. You're subtracting 8. So what you have to do, you got to unbundle a 10. Now that gives you 10 more ones. Add it to the 5 you already have, and that's 15 ones. And you have, when you unbundle this 10, you only have 5 tens left. So now we can do our subtraction. 15 ones minus 8 ones, 7 ones. And 5 tens minus 3 tens, 2 tens, 27. All right, 66 minus 49. Again, I don't have, um, it's six, six ones minus nine ones. I don't have enough ones, so I have to unbundle a 10. When I unbundle that 10, I'm only going to have five tens left. But I'm going to have 10 more ones. So 10 ones plus that 6, 10, 6, 16 ones. Now I can subtract 16 minus 9, that's 7. And 5 tens minus 4 tens, I'm going to have a 10 left, 17. You have to have, you have to have all of this stuff up here. All of the, these are called crutch marks, where you're showing that you unbundled this 10, and that you have 5 left, and you added it to the 10 more ones, and now you have 16 ones. You have to have all of this up here. If you're trying to do this in your head, mostly it doesn't work. Uh, but you have to show, you have to show this stuff up here in these marks. You have to have that. Otherwise, you're not doing it vertically. And if you got to watch me to do it and follow it step by step, because this is the first time we're doing it, really, uh, then do it like that. Or watch it and then pause it and then try it yourself and see if you can remember the steps. 111 is our menu end, and we're subtracting 60. And I'm going to circle my menu end just to make sure I don't accidentally subtract it, which is what everybody, the most common mistake is in the beginning of doing this kind of subtraction. So this is what I have, and this is what I'm subtracting is the lower number. So 1, 1 minus 0 ones, sure I can do that. I can cross out nothing and have still have 1, 1 left. And looking at my tens digits now, I have 1, 10, and I'm subtracting 6 tens. I can't cross out 6 tens if I only have 1, 10. So I have to unbundle this 100. I won't have any 100s left after I do that, zero. But now I will have 11 tens, because I get 10 tens for that 100, 
plus the one I already have. Now I have 11 tens. 11 minus 6 is 5. 51, and I don't have any hundreds. I'm going to take some time to show this next one with uh, an HTO chart for chips going side by side. Now I don't, I won't be able to do this for all of them. In fact, I'm going to kind of start rushing it after I do this because this video is going to take an hour if I do, if I if I do that, and I can't I can't have it take that long. All right, so I would have a hundred and ten. 20. So I draw the menu end. Now I'm looking at this. I have to cross out seven ones. Looking at my picture, I can't do that. I don't have any. So I would have to cross unbundle this 10 there. That's the same as saying now I had two 10s. I only have one 10 left. This 10, now I get 10 ones for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right now, I have 10 ones. 10 minus 7, I can now cross out 7 ones. 5 and 2 more. I have 3 ones left. And now I'm looking at my tens. I need to subtract or cross out 6 tens, but I only have 1 ten, so I have to unbundle this hundred. So, crossing that out, I now have 0 hundreds left. But I get 10 tens for it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you can see right here, I have 10 tens plus this 10 right here. So that's, now I have 11 tens. And I can cross out 6 tens. When I do that, I'm going to have there, I'm going to have these four plus that 1, right, because that's 11 minus 6, 5 left. And I don't have any hundreds left, so it's just 53. So you might want to go back and forth side by side and do it that way if it really helps you to look at that and, and to count it. But I'm just going to go ahead with all vertical. There's our menu end. And with lots of room at the top there. That's what we have. This is what we're subtracting, six ones and six tens. So I have three ones, can't subtract six ones, got to unbundle a 10. I'll have five tens left. But it'll give me 10 more ones, so I'll have 13 ones. 13 minus six, seven ones left. Five minus six, can't take away six tens from only five, so I have to unbundle this hundred means now I'll have 15 tens. 15 minus 6 is 9, 97. 184 minus 95. This is easier to do mentally. And you could just write down the answer down here, whatever it is, after you figure it out mentally. But if you don't have the crutch marks up here, you didn't practice the vertical method, and that's the whole point of this homework, is to practice it vertically. So please, give it a shot. If you get stuck, that's what the video is for. This is our menu end, so we don't subtract up by accident. And subtracting up would be saying 5 minus 4 and writing a 1 here. We can't do that, because we don't have 5, we're not subtracting 4. We have 4, and we're subtracting 5. That we don't, can't do that. So we have to unbundle. Oops. <laughs> I can't uh, write with an eraser, can I? So I have to unbundle a 10. That leaves me with 7 tens left. And 14 ones now. I can subtract 5 from 14. So that would be 9. And then 7 minus 9, I can't do that in the tens place, so I have to break up 100, and that gives me 17 tens now. 17 minus 9 is 8. 114 minus 98. Lots of room up here. 
there. Looking at the ones place first, four minus eight. Can't subtract eight from four, so I have to unbundle a 10. It'll give me no tens left. Don't panic, we'll take care of that later. So now I'm gonna have 14 ones. 14 minus eight is six, just looking at the ones. And now I have zero, one, zero tens, I'm gonna subtract nine tens, I have to unbundle that 100. So now I'm gonna have 10 tens, and I can cross out nine, and I'll have one 10 left, 16. 154 minus 85. Again, a lot easier to subtract this mentally, but we're not doing mental math practice, we're doing the vertical method practice. So we have four ones minus five ones, can't do that, got to unbundle a 10. And that means we're going to have 14 ones now. 14 minus five is nine. And we have, oops, we still have four tens left. Can't subtract eight from four, so we have to unbundle a hundred. When we do that, we're going to have 14 tens. 14 tens minus eight tens, six tens. No hundreds left, no hundreds to subtract. 69 is what we have there. Now that we've been drilling those vertical subtraction problems, we have a word problem. Uh, Dominic has $167. He has $88 more than Mario. How much money does Mario have? So let's see. Dominic has $167. I'm just going to draw that. Right? We read it. We have to draw it. And we have to write an equation and an answer statement. Uh, we don't have to use vertical subtraction to solve this. There are other methods that might be easier, or we might want to do it. Okay, so there's Dominic's money, D. He has $167. So far, so good. Not too bad. He has $88 more than Mario. We don't know how much Mario has. This is Mario's money. We don't know it. But we do know the more. We do know the more. Right? The difference. Between the two is 88. How much money does Mario have? We figure this out by subtraction. 167 minus 88 equals, that's okay. So we have our equation, we have our labeled picture. We're ready to go. We just gotta solve the subtraction. Uh, I'm gonna do it vertically. And I'll show it in one other method. All right, so here we are looking at this vertically. Seven tens minus eight tens, can't do it. Got to unbundle. I mean, seven ones minus eight ones, got to unbundle a 10. We'll have five tens left. But 17 ones now, subtract eight, nine ones are left. Five tens minus eight tens, can't do it. Got to unbundle a hundred. Now I'll have 15 tens. 15 minus eight is seven, 79. So it's going to be 79. Now, if you wanted to use a different method, I would use number bonds. Think of this 167 as 100 and 67. And this 88 is 80 and eight. So 100 minus 80 is 20. And then I can subtract the 8 from the 20 is 12. So all that's left of this 100 now is 12. And I can just add the 12 back to the 67 for 79. So you can see, if you're doing it mentally, you might use those kinds of steps. 
But what did you have to do? You had to draw number bonds. You had to cross some stuff out. You had to decompose and recompose. And you had to write three different equations. But if you are, uh, once you get comfortable with the vertical method, you can see that this is all you had to do to figure it out. We still need an answer statement. Mario has. $79. Now, which problem will have the same answer as 133 minus 77? And it says, show your work. So, I suppose we, we might not have to even solve 133 minus 77. Some of these we might be able to figure out mentally. Let's see. Well, let's figure out the 133 minus 77. 133 minus 77. All right. Three minus seven can't do it, so I have to unbundle a ten. Two tens left. Now I have thirteen ones. Thirteen minus seven is six. Gonna unbundle this hundred. That gives me twelve tens. Twelve minus seven is five. Fifty-six. We got to come out with fifty-six somehow. Well, we can eliminate some of these looking at this mentally, right? One hundred fifty-five minus sixty-six. This 55 and 66 are pretty close. So that's going to leave us most of the 100 left, a lot more than 56. So it won't be A. Let's look at B. 144 minus 88. It might, this one's worth trying. Let's see if we can eliminate some of the others. Let's look at C. 177 minus 33. Well, you can see here we're going to have the 100 left because the 33 is a lot less than the 77. We're going to have well over 100 left for this one. So it can't be that. And then the 139 minus 97. 97 is almost 100. So you can do this. Look at this mentally and say that this is going to be uh, probably like 42. Right? Because if you look at the 139, we're almost done here, right? Because we've eliminated. This is the last one to eliminate. If you don't see how I got the 42, Think of this, 139 is 139, right? And this 97, that's, I mean, this is like a, this is a really a good tape diagram subtraction one, because this 97 is almost 100, but it's three less. So if I subtracted the 100, I'd have 39 left, but I'm going to have to add three back to make it up. And when I do, so I need 39 plus 3 more. That's going to be 42. That won't be enough. So let's try this one and see, and see how it works. 144 minus 88. And then we don't have enough ones. 4 minus 8, we can't do it, so we have to unbundle this 10. Three tens left. But we'll have 14 ones now. 14 minus 8 is 6. 3 minus 8, we can't do that, so we have to unbundle this 100. Now we'll have 13 tens. 13 minus 8 is 5. So it's that. That's the 1. It's B. It's B. Because they're both, that's both 56. So you have to have this work, or whatever method you use to solve it, to show that. Uh, to figure out what 133 minus 77 is, and then you have to show what 144 minus 88 is, and maybe if you did some other work here, don't erase it, leave it, we want to see it. But that's what you need to have. You have to have your, your work that shows what that subtraction result is and what this subtraction result is. You have to show how you did it. Arrow way, uh, you can use the HTO chart, you can draw the chips and unbundle and cross out. Uh, however you want to do it, you can do it.
but you have to show it. 